Oh, wish I'd have caught that. It'd been a lot cooler. Hey, I'm Tyler from TarverAcademy.com, and I am brought to you today by LearningBird.com. So uh, make sure you check them out and check out TarverAcademy.com. Also on social media, if you want to say what's up, thanks for the math. That'd be dope. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at pyramids. Um, I'd probably say there are a few pyramids that you've heard of that are maybe uh, think they're so important and they're just like the most pyramidy pyramids in all the world and they're just like just like Mr. and Mrs. Pyramid walking through their special kingdom on Game of Thrones and just pumping and flexing whatever. They're, they are really special. But pyramids in general can refer to any shape that is essentially looks like this, okay? Usually you have a shape at the bottom, that's your base, and then you've got triangles going upward and connecting it at a point, a vertex, whatever you want to call it. You've got it connected to a point where you can poke people with, but you don't want to because that's rude, okay? That is what the general, most general, general classification of a pyramid is. Okay, let's look at some of its properties, all right? A pyramid is a three-dimensional shape, so it's not flat like a circle or a square, rectangle, or a triangle, anything like that. It is a three-dimensional shape. That means that you can hold it, unless it's big like the real pyramids, and you're like hugging it like this. Okay? So, you name a pyramid based on the base shape. That's how it gets classified, is by the base shape. For instance, this, um, let's pretend this is a square, this would be a square pyramid. If it had a rectangle, and then they were all connected through that, it'd be a rectangular pyramid. If I had made a triangular base and then they were connected through that, it would be a triangular pyramid. That's the ugliest pyramid I've ever seen. I'm so sorry. Poor little fella. He didn't stand a chance. Okay, so it's classified by the base. Our base is our most important part because that's what we name it off of. That's what a, the majority of the information comes off of. Okay? Other than that, it's built with triangles. Triangles are essentially put from the length of whatever those sides are of that base and then folded till they come to a point. So that's what the shapes are made of, triangular sides. It is a polyhedron because it's not curved like a sphere. Um, it is a polyhedron because it's straight lines and edges. Lovely. Okay, so that's... Those are the main things about a pyramid. Pyramids don't have a lot of um, super facts, essentially. Um, I do, I will tell you this fun fact. Like if you have, like say, um, you know with a, a prism where you connect like a shape, a shape, and then it's connected by those rectangles. If you did that for this, like if you connected this and it was connected to the same edges as this. Wow, that's a terrible drawing. Um, but say this was connected. That would be about one-third as far as volume goes of that whole thing. So that's kind of a cool little uh, little fact. Other than that, you've pretty much learned about pyramids today, ladies and gentlemen, whether you want to or not. So thanks for getting your learn on. Check out learningbird.com and check out tarveracademy.com where you can find more educational videos for your eyes. Peace! Oh, behind the back. Nailed it. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.